Welcome back. 836, a scandal stops production of a reality show. TMZ's Harvey Levin is in L.A. and joins us with more. You know, w when you think reality show, you think scandal all the time. So what's going on? What happened to make it actually stop production? Well, the allegation is serious. I mean, the, the uh, producers and Warner Brothers are investigating uh, what they call misconduct. They were not any uh, more specific. We know what it is. It is essentially an allegation by a field producer that there was a, an alleged sexual assault uh, on Bachelor in Paradise. So here's what we know. We know a lot. We broke a lot of stories on this yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, there is a woman named Corinne Olympias, um, yes. and there's a guy named Demario Jackson. Both of them have been on prior Bachelor shows. They were both considered the villain, and then producers thought, what a great idea, we'll hook them up on Bachelor in Paradise. So a week ago Sunday uh, at the resort in Mexico, uh, they, hooked, they met at the bar, and they started drinking, and they got drunk. And they were all over each other, I mean, in a very graphic kind of way. Now, according to DeMario, we know his version. There are two, a couple of different versions. He says she is the one who said, let's go to the swimming pool. They got in the swimming pool. They took their clothes off. It got extremely uh, sexual in the pool. And, uh, and then it was over. And the next day, everybody seemed to be getting along. But all of a sudden, there were these rumblings. This field producer said she had heard that, that Corinne may have been so drunk that she was incapable of consenting to anything that was going on and that mm. she might have even blacked out which essentially means DeMario would have done this stuff without her consent now he insists she was fine I can tell you that people familiar with the vid with the film have reviewed it and they say based on everything they've seen in the film she seems fine in terms of being able to form an intent and everything at all times. They may have been drunk, but they knew what they were doing, at least the people who have already seen this, uh, the film. Mm -hmm. She thinks, Corinne thinks, I don't remember anything. And so she is saying, look, he took advantage of me, but I blame the producers. DeMario is saying she knew what she was doing. The people who have seen the video say she knew what she was doing, but they have put the whole production on ice right now and sent everybody home until they finish investigating this. Now, I have to say, I watched the show, <laughs> and uh, Corinne, when she was on, the, the season she was on, she was the scandalous one. She was the one that was um, very out there taking her top. I mean, like, she was the one who everyone was like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe this girl's acting like this. So, you know, it seems like she has a past, and some people are thinking that, that you know, maybe this is just her, but it does sound like something else may have happened here that, that you know, she may have been put in a situation where she was too drunk, she'd had too much to drink, and, and it's... Well, that's, look, that, 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 that's what she seems to be saying, mm -hmm. but others are saying that's just not true. I mean, she right. was drinking all day long, and eventually she just became so wasted she was falling downstairs, but that was hours after the swimming pool incident. So the issue is, what happened in the pool? And, you know, she doesn't remember. The producer who filed the complaint wasn't there, but people who have seen the video say she was, hmm. she knew what she was doing, and DeMario says the same. I kind of feel like that's what the whole show's about. Just drinking and, and, yeah. hook, and people looking up, so. All I right. get it, Lauren. <laughs> I, get, I, I get what you're saying. That's, yeah, I feel the same way, but it does, at a point, it right. can cross at the line. At a point, it could cross the line, exactly. Thank you so much, Harvey. Appreciate it. You can see TMZ weeknights, 11 p.m. weekdays at 3 p.m. here on Fox 4. You can also find a link to the show's website at fox4news.com.